hope it will snow later. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Doc's inside the lodge. A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west? They'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. All right. Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. Such as? Was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. Bighorners, good eating. And we can trade the hides. Got a lot of wild ones around here, so it's easy to restock the herd. Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with a tribal. Now I'm here. Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the Super Mutants and Nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. It didn't end well. Town was Broken Hills. Bunch of Super Mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. We were looking for a Gek to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually we did nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. All right. See you. Big Horners. 
They're sweet, gentle creatures, but sometimes they get ornery, just like my grandkids. Talk to you soon, dear. Another human. One was enough. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Dr. Henry, he's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. Finally. I keep hearing about some courier making a fuss over at the Strip. Must have delivered more than just mail. I assume this is about something important? You're interrupting my research. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak, Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the fiends and Caesar's legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth feel. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big harness to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject. And Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikin. Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning, I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. If we must, Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. If we must. Yes, yes. to Betsy, 
But Mr. Benny met a nasty end. I hope you've realized, Pumpkin, that crime doesn't pay. Boo, those night stalkers, always killing my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind.